hello everybody and welcome back to another episode how is everybody doing today oh man i'm doing so amazing hopefully you guys are doing great i am just so happy with the last episode we had so much fun i asked you guys if you wanted to be part of my world and apparently over 200 people wants to be part of it uh but <laughs> I, I added as many as you guys as i could i went back to serenity fields to our afk fish farm i brought a bunch of name tags and i name tagged a bunch of you guys here uh and you know what i, I wasn't able to get to everybody because i started recording this a little bit after and i know a bunch more comments came on in but uh we're, we're gonna go ahead and see if i can add as many as i can also i added a bunch more beds so we got more villagers in here a bunch of babies are walking around but man big old thank you if you still want to be part of the world if you're not in here yet uh don't worry I i'm gonna get you okay i'm gonna get you I, I made sure whenever i added somebody i said hey you're in so i comment uh back to you guys in the uh, last episode if if I haven't gone to yet, don't worry. I'm going to get as many as I can. But you know what? Let's walk around. I'm going to show you. Today also, we're going to be doing our lovely old church. The church we've been planning for a long time. And I just can't wait. Uh, but look at that. Azen is here. Uh, you you know you don't have a name yet. I'm gonna one of you gonna be that. Uh, so uh, let me pass by and I'm gonna show you everybody who I put in here. Well, I, as many as I can. Savannah's here. What's up? Hey, look, it's Kieran over here. Uh, we got uh, Andre Bob. What's up, Bob? Allison is here. Uh, what time of the day is it? It's almost nighttime. Let's see if we can get everybody around here. Uh, look at that. It's Rose. What's up, Rose? Uh, let's see who's around here. Oh man, they're all meeting here. We're gonna see a bunch of people now. Yeah, what's up, Nash Quayle? Nash Quayle, them everybody. Uh, we, ooh, who are you? Oh, you Savannah again. We got Knight Flip. What's up, Master Hydro Carry? We got Leo in here. Savannah, you in there, everything? Um, who's in here? We got some people who haven't been named yet, but that's fine. We're, we're gonna be naming a bunch. Don't you worry. Uh, I gotta go get more name tags. <laughs> also, I added a bunch more beds here, so we're gonna get a bunch more people coming. Oh, look at that! Aiden is on his way down. Everyone's on. It's what a party! Everyone's coming. Everyone's here. Where's the cake? Who brought the cake? Uh, oh, and we got a new kitty cat. Uh, right here. Laurel, what's up? <laughs> I know. Uh, who wanted Laurel? I, th I forgot. I, 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 hey, I like your monocle. Uh, and we added a bunch more beds, a bunch more workstations over here. Night Fury, what's up? Oh, look at that. We got Fran. Uh, we got uh, ND. Who's this? Hold on. This Hyper. What's up, Hyper? Who's over here stuck? Oh, we got a uh, stupid... Um, I don't know who that is. Uh, <laughs> we got a bunch of people over here. Look at that. Alan, who's this? Oh, we already saw you. And guess what? We also got John Pinto in here, and we also got Tweety Burb. What's up? And you were just wondering, hey, what's going on? Where are all the other iron golems? And you must be wondering what this is on the floor. They're down there. <laughs> There's a little drop shoot. Oh, and we got a brand new kitty. Somebody in the comment section named this kitty cat. We found him here. I, I uh, gave him all the fish, and he's good to go. And then up here... Uh, we have one more, the Fletcher, which is, what's up? It's Julian, baby. Julian in the house. Oh, baby, we've got so many new people here. These are all brand new babies just growing up, and we still got room to add more. So don't you worry. See, all these, we got to add people to them. Uh, and our fishing hut is doing really, really good. Uh, there's somebody who keeps coming in here and dipping themselves in the water. I don't even know where they went. They're gone. But, yeah, added a bunch of people. Uh, but today, we're going to have a lot more fun with more building baby allison look at allison again uh but man there's a bunch of people here uh, once we get the world download going for episode 100 yo infected hero look at it uh we get to go ahead and uh and walk this or uh, you do a little walk around you guys get to see yourselves whenever you walk around look it's Roin. <laughs> so uh, a lot more coming for those who have missed but don't you worry um you're gonna be at it eventually look at all these babbies Look at that little baby. Oh, also, we got another kitty cat. I got two extra kitty cats. So give me two names for two kitty cats. We got another yellow boy, and we got this cream soda looking boy right here. <laughs> but here is the a church dimension. So let me show you guys. Let me get up here real, real tall, and you get to see a little bit of what I'm thinking about. Oh, baby. It's another kitty cat. I, I have, oh, I need more fish. I gotta get more, some more fish. I'll get that cat too. Name that cat as well. So three cats to be named. Now, Check this out. I got a tower here, tower here. 
nice little entrance in the middle, and then we walk in, and then these are pews. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, and then there's another side entrance right here. This is the little back end. This is where the uh, the main uh, preaching is gonna go. And then back here, a little little cemetery. Little cemetery in the back. Uh, not a lot of people have died here yet, so we don't have to expand that yet. But what do you think? Is this a cool outline? I think it came out pretty cool. I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> let's start uh, Let's start building this thing. Are you guys ready for the Church of Sausage? is about to begin. I caught the kitty, check that out. Is this jelly? No, it's not jelly. I was about to say, it's not jelly, it's a Siamese cat. Oh, it's so cute, it's oh, one of my favorites. So, yep, we got a new kitty. So three cats need to be named. Also, uh, something I wanted to do today, I wanted to ask you guys another really cool, fun, interesting question of the day, uh, really fast, before we even get to building. Uh, I was just looking, I was looking. A lot of people were, uh, wanted to be like a baker, but I was like, you know what? We don't have a baker uh, villager, so, I was just thinking, what other villager types would you like to see in the game that don't exist yet, okay? Uh, let me know down below. So right now, I'm gonna let you know everything we got. We got a armorer, we got a butcher, we got a cartographer, a cleric, a farmer, a fisherman, a fletcher, leather worker, librarian, stonemason, nitwit, they don't count, shepherd, and toolsmith. So besides those, we pretty much cover a lot, <laughs> but what are we missing? Baker is one of them. That's just an example, but let me know down below if there's any other villager types that we need that maybe, you never know, might be added on the next update, but what do you think? And if anything, also let me know what kind of station would they have? Like if I'm thinking, a baker what kind of station would a baker have uh besides an oven i'm guessing an oven but we already have a furnace a blast furnace we have uh, a smoker uh maybe a, a, i don't know that kind of i guess you know put a make it make a oven just for for baked goods and, and maybe that oven can make different types of pies and cakes that's my idea so let me know down below what do you think what should we add and what station should that addition have Cool, all right, let's start building. That's a really cool question, I really wanted to know. Okay, now, I'm gonna start building this up. So that what I'm thinking about doing is coming in here, putting this on my offhand. I'm gonna go in every corner, uh, and I like doing this when uh, when the building needs like some kind of real structure to it. So, something like this in the corner bits. Uh, so this one would go here, and then these will go here. Uh, I'm gonna do almost like a, Hello, Laurel, how are you? Thank you so much for passing by. You're such a sweet, sweet girl. Go over here. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put all these corners like this. We're gonna go up with it. But then I'm thinking about doing a gradient of just a little bit of cobble in the bottom. So the cobble's gonna be the bottom base. And then we're gonna do smooth stone uh, uh, going up with a mixture of cobble. But the the main uh, like wire framing is gonna be with this uh, stone brick. Uh, so we're gonna go up with this. So let's just take it. I don't know how tall I want it, so let's just eyeball this and see how we can do it. Let's just go all, uh, do some parkour as we go up uh, and see how tall. It's not going to be too tall because, again, most of these builds here are not going to be too big. Just because of the size of the wall, the size of the builds inside here, they're scaled down because it's a small village, so it's not a big, giant village. It's not going to be a big old cathedral, so it's not going to be too crazy big. Um, so I'm thinking if we're going to go, I think right about... I think this is a good height right here, just eyeballing it, I'm thinking, so it's not gonna be too crazy. So let's just test this out. Let's test this right here. Take it out just to there. Then, uh, I'll match it in a second. Let's do this one first. So now, we're gonna get rid of this from my little hand, off handy thing thing. Uh, let's just do it like this. Let's just do it with these two. So I'm gonna go up a little bit, and then these are gonna be ways into the towers, right there and right there. Uh, so let's see, let's eyeball this a little bit, something like this. I'll pop windows at the end like I normally do. So something like this, a little bit of a cobble grading at the beginning. Then we're gonna come in here with the smooth stone right here like this. But then, oh, let's take it right to there. I'll put it upside down there later. Uh, and then some of these are gonna sneak in a little bit of cobble once we start that first gradient section there. And then let's take this up to about maybe, maybe one more there. And then this can close out right there. This can close out maybe something like that. And then this can close it out right about here. Something with a little bit of cobble on the top. Let me move this to the corner. And we're just gonna take this up like so. Okay, so this is gonna go up like this. Let's take a look. So something like that, that's nice, that's simple. I like that, I like that. Uh, we're gonna play around with the gradient a little bit. So this can go ahead and copy to this side. Now in here, I'm just gonna go up as well from here, just with cobble, 
for now. This is gonna be one of those lovely old open doors that we've been doing because if you notice, a lot of these villagers, they, man, they make a racket trying to open and close these doors. So uh, I'm gonna make most of these doors open. So let, leave them all open. So I'm not gonna even worry about it. Uh, so taking this up, maybe up to here for a little bit. And then I might just come up to this one doing something similar to this. Something like that. Maybe something like this. I messed that up real bad. I know this is gonna go right here. So something like that, and then we can do. Do I bring? Did I bring any? Yes. Yeah, so let's just do this for now. So something like this. Hi Loki. Um, so something like that, right? And then uh, maybe put like a little, like a nice little stained glass, little cross or something there. We'll see. Uh, definitely gonna detail the bottom bits by maybe adding something like this. Maybe a little stair on top like that. And I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe a little bit of an archway there with that in the middle. So something like that. And then we're gonna do like little castle -y bits on the top here. And that would be pretty cool. Uh, and then for this, I'll just match that in a second. But then on this side, what I'm thinking is, uh, we'll do the same little gradient thing we did over here. This is gonna be a small window on this side. So let's take this up a bit like this. Little, little bit of playing around with this gradient thing like that. So this will go up probably up to here. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to make this taller if I really wanna see this look good. Uh, but maybe something like that. And then maybe pop it up a little bit like this. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm gonna take this up maybe like by three more maybe just to give a little more clearance. And then this is a one, two, three, four window. That's perfect. Then for this side right here, this will probably match the size of the tower, maybe just a little bit smaller. And then here, we could just take this up also on the corners, like so. Let me show you what I mean. So take this out, take this out. I'm gonna lift this up right about, let's match it right there, but this is gonna go a little taller. I'm thinking maybe another four, maybe five, maybe five. Just to see a little bit of a difference, because I really want to make these towers here in the front be a little bit uh, like the centerpiece of it. Uh, so something like this, and then this goes down, and then maybe do something like this, right? Something like that. So, and then we could do a nice little uh, entrance right here, uh, and then this will also have that like that grading we were talking about, and maybe like a window right there, something like that. Hello, butchers. Oh wait, who are you? Unite, and who are you? Miss Master, what's up? Uh, the cool thing about having names, though, for all these villagers is now that I can tell... Hi. Now I can tell <laughs> um, who has what trade. So then, if I really wanted to see right here, uh, a, a nitty, it, what trade you got? You got the clay and the bricks. So then I know you're the clay and the brick boy. Then if I go over here, and then uh, Frank Kovic, you are the one that has the, the pork chops and the raw chicken. So I know who has what just by looking at their name. Eventually, I'll get to know everybody. You have some lovely old rabbits too there. Um, so that is the cool thing also about naming the villagers. I love that. That's so cool. Uh, so then see, something like that. And then we'll probably have like a little upside down stair right there. Something like this. And this will be another little way in. And then this part will just go something like this and just cover up this little end. Like, like so. Something like that. Ow. Something like this. So then this will come around and maybe sneak one in. And we'll work on something like this. Like that. Cool. And then we have a little side entrance here. We have a nice little glass little thing thing we'll put a nice little window on this one and we'll detail it up but all right give me a second i'm just gonna go ahead and just lift this other bad boy on this side texture it a little bit uh and we'll continue with the build all right check this out so this is looking really really cool i like that tower bit it looks awesome we went ahead and lifted it up at least by four more so it looks really really cool uh and i went ahead and i textured that a little bit i love the little castle -y bits it's so nice and this little border around here just does so much uh i went ahead and i did these little corner bits as well just to add a little more support and uh i lifted these up so so i can add these here because uh, then it'll look kind of weird if we had this one this way and then a small version right here next to that but i don't know what do you guys think I think it's cool. Everybody's loving it. They're already visiting. <laughs> it's so cool. So I lifted all the walls up. Uh, these were lifted up by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven all the way around, all the way around. Over here, I kind of broke this up how we had it originally. We had like a two and a two and a two with like a weird gap there. So now a big three window here, a two and a two. And I think that looks pretty good. Uh, and now from this side, let's see. 
that's looking awesome as well. And then we have this little pop out. Oh, cute little Sammy. And we have the little pop out as well. We're gonna put a big old window in here. Uh, and everything is looking pretty decent. I'm in love. I think it's really, really cool. Now, uh, let me show you how I did this tower. It's super simple though. Uh, first off, let me lift these up. So these go not even like that. No, this goes like this. Uh, this goes, I'm gonna have to lift this up. I think I might terraform this a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get to that later on. Uh, lifting this up, this goes by two to match that one. This goes up by one to match that and for the tower bits these go right here on this line i think i have to go one more up yeah i think so hold on let me lift this up come 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 uh so right here what i did was i separated these let's see right about there so all of these have like a three gapper in the middle uh by doing that we can go ahead and do something uh like detail wise right on that center block you see that center right there so we can put an upside down here and it'll look pretty good i think i might come back and put some slabs in here as well but for now let's just do these little bits right here so upside down upside down upside down this goes upside down right there yeah and then let me grab those slabs we're gonna put a slab right here right here there we go here and then this goes all the way around and we get that little lining that looks really really awesome just breaks up the uh the build so it's not one one clean line well sometimes clean lines are pretty good but i like details <laughs> so this looks pretty awesome all right that looks good then let's go inside real fast we're using this as a way up i don't know if i want to keep this as the way up or maybe put a ladder somewhere but i don't know looks like a little elevator <laughs> which is awesome uh now for this let me move this around Let's grab these. Okay, so I'm going to texture this a little bit. So this is going to go, let's see, upside down. Let me move these around right here. Perfect. So we're going to mix in the regular smooth stone. And we're going to be mixing in a little bit of the stone brick, just like this. Going all the way around. Hold on, let me move this one also there we go nice uh so we're gonna go all the way around like this super simple so this goes like so coming in here let's put that as a brick let's put that here another one of those and then we're just mixing and matching all the way around until it looks pretty cool and then i messed up right there so bad that's fine uh so we're gonna go upside down bam let's do another one here but if you notice, it is primarily uh, stone bricks. So every once in a while, we'll bring in a stone, smooth stone right around here just to add a little bit of, uh, of a nice little palette going. But mostly, it's going to be stone brick like that. Then we're going to come up top. Let's see. Let's go. We're going to go up here. Let's go up. Let's take. There we go. Move that. Maybe a nice little uh, double smooth stone on this side. There we go. Then bring in that, that. Let's go with another smooth stone, one more, and then that and that. Then over here, we're gonna put stairs, a little stair action, another little stair action. Let's put some of the smooth on that one, smooth on this one. Let's switch it up, brick. Let's do another, let's put a smooth here and let's put another little brick. Perfect, and another, let's do smooth stone here as well. And boop, perfect. Now, for this part, I'm gonna go ahead and put full blocks on all these little corner bits right here, mixing and matching as well, like that. Then, we're gonna put a little stair action. Uh, let's do right here, here. Let's do one here, here, there. Let's put one in here. This just adds just a little bit more when you get to the tippy top. And then every other one, we're just gonna come back in here and just bring in some of either the smooth stone, regular stone brick, just going all the way around giving you that cool little castle-y uh, top bits. I don't even know. What's the right word for that? I don't even know. The right type of term for this uh, castle-y bit. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but it's looking pretty cool. And that's it. Now it's looking awesome. Let's get back down. We can fly. There it is. And there it, you have it. So that's looking so cool. So we have this lovely little spot here. Now what we have to do is decide what to do for the little roof bit here. So what I'm thinking is, come with me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just run a little line that goes just down this way going back that direction with a mix of the uh, dark oak and the spruce uh, Keeping in style with what we've been doing with this build see how there's a lining of dark oak on the outside Spruce on the inside. So I'm thinking about doing something like that. And who's a kitty cat who keeps me out? Uh, I think it's the to be named kitty cat. So let's just go up real fast. Let me show you how we're gonna start this up So I'm thinking something like oh hello there, we're fine let's go this way let's go that way perfect so right here dark oak right and we're just going to take the dark oak all the way down like so and can we go one more nope but we could do this until we can there we go uh so we can go all the way down like so and then just do the upside down stair and just go back up all the way from one end to the other 
And then here we can have a little connection to this. And it's cool because it's just one level less so that we can play around with whatever's happening right there. And then this goes right to that. Now, if we do that here, we're gonna have to do it as well on this side. So, ooh, that might interfere with what's happening there. Hmm. Oh man, hold on. I think we might have to tweak this there. What if, instead of doing it like this, let's, ow. What if we do it with slabs? So then that won't affect that point. And then we can play around with it. Let's see, hold on. Eh. Hold on. All right, hold on. Let, let me let, let, let's come up with a little bit of a design. Let's see if we can make something happen. Uh, because I don't want to have to raise that now. <laughs> hold on. Yep, the slabs did it. Look at this. This is awesome. So I connected this little bit right here with uh, well stairs at the bottom, and then slab all the way up, and it looks awesome. Check this out. And, and it connects perfectly to this little bit right here. Uh, I ended up lifting this part up here just so it had a good connection to this last piece of the dark oak, and it looks so cool. And it doesn't mess with the tower at all going around like this. Oh man, I love it. So really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and just lay down uh, this little bit down here, and then check this out this is how i did it so just these are all slabs then these are all full blocks so we don't get that weird double texture then we're going with slabs again right here and we're doing double because it's better do it like this because then we could do cross beams on the inside if we don't do this part then it's going to look a little bit weird we're going to have to add it after anyway so might as well just do it from there so this goes all the way down like that that connects to this this one is also double all the way from one side to the other and you know what i gotta go down there and light stuff up right now before anything spawns because that is going to be the death of the whole village especially since i put all the iron golems in a hole <laughs> nice so uh let's get down let's check this out oh then that looks cool i lifted this up a little bit we put a big window in there as well and let's check that out let's go a little bit farther back loki what are you even doing oh that is cool that is so cool that is so cool okay let, let me check this side as well. Let's make sure all the sides look cool. And I like that the, the left side is different from the right. So this one, we have this little pop-out area right here. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. Let's check the front, front, part, part right here. And yep, I am uh, I'm super happy. <laughs> so now let's decide what we're gonna do on the inside as well. And decide what are we gonna do with these windows also over here. Um, for this, Ooh, I would love to have some cross beams. Oh yeah, and I messed with that. Look at that cool little arch effect. Um, I think we should put some cross beams, but how do we do it not to mess with this bit here? I'm thinking if we do a cross beam, let's see, let's just do a test beam. Uh, it would probably be, if we do one here, then here, mm, we would have to do one on this one, and then this one, so this will be here. And then this is kind of messed up. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to do the cross beam. If we do one here as well, this would go like, not at, th yeah, it'll be at that level. And then this would go from beam to beam sideways. Or, 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 we can change it up. We could change where we put the beam and we can go the other direction. And if we do the other direction from here to here, that wouldn't be too bad. We can maybe do one, if we do one here, here. We could do one here and here, and then we could do another one. That would be it though, right? I think that would be it because then we don't want to mess with this middle lining. If we do, we're gonna have to lower this window. Hmm, and then that would mess this window up. So I don't think so. I think we could do beams though like that. I think that would be just fine. I think, <laughs> I think that would be just fine. You know what, I might go down here as well and replace this guy with a, uh, let's see, with one of these bad boys. And this would go all the way down to there. Yep, that is gonna give you a little bit more structure. Yep, that's awesome. Okay, so I think beams in these parts will be perfect. It's not gonna mess with any windows. It's out of the way, we can still hang lights from that. Yeah, and then flooring, I'm thinking just maybe a strip going down of dark oak and then maybe spruce on the outer lining. Uh, yeah, okay, hold on. Let's do a little bit more detail. Let me do some flooring. Let me put those beams up and let's see what we can come up with. You know what? It's officially the next day. I've been at it for so long. In there, we got some stuff. Look at that. I've got to show you guys in a second. But before we do that, let's finish this tiny little graveyard. Uh, and again, we can always expand this. Maybe we could do a little uh, down below cellar and do like crypts underneath or something. But for now, something simple, super small. Did a little bit of texture right here. I got these little uh, gravel bits as the, where the uh, the graves were dug. And then I'm just going to put some, uh, maybe a stair. 
uh, on one and maybe just like a slab on another like that super simple some of them are gonna have some flowers in it um, also let me see maybe some sea pickle on another one and uh, I don't know maybe we can even add a little bit of bush back here let's see what we could do bring some flowers in here let's see so a little flower action bam bam and then maybe some overgrown kind of thing over here maybe a little bit more like that oh that looks good something like that uh i was thinking about a tree but i don't know i don't know if it'll even fit here it might break it up too much but something uh like this and then maybe we need some lighting here except for this we need to maybe put uh let's get a wall or something put a little wall right here maybe a little lantern on top i think so maybe do another one on this side so it looks a little more put together uh that's good and then back here we can work on other things but Hi, cleric, <laughs> weird. Uh, and then maybe add a little bit more bushy bush off here to the side. I was gonna break this little piece. Let's do maybe another little bit that kind of goes over and around like that. Oh, that's so good. Something like that. And then I did a little bit of light terraforming here. And I still need to add a lot more stuff in the inside. You'll see, yellow glass looks so good. So good. I also wanna come back in here and break up some stuff like we normally do uh, because it looks too clean it looks too perfect uh, so maybe some of these are gonna have like uh, stuff like that just a little bit more of a rip-up job in there uh, maybe even a little on the inside bits like one here let's go like that like there we go and then down here, I could definitely add a little bit of the bush action. Let's see, let's add some of this, uh, the spruce on that one. Maybe some that goes around like that. And I still need to get some bone meal, maybe bone meal that up a little bit. Oh, but it's looking so good. Check these little archways out here. Uh, I was, I did them, calm down in there. I did them facing downwards instead of like we normally do that other uh, other way. Uh, and it looks so cool having that little bit of uh, of natural light going through. Uh, I did our uh, our little typical underneath the roof bits that we did on that just to keep it all uh, all similar to the other builds around this uh, around this area. It feels so good. Come down in there. Uh, and then you know what? I might even put a couple flower boxes on some of these. But for now, you know what? Let's just bush. Let's just bush it up instead. Uh, something like this, maybe. That's good. A little more terraforming action I gotta do. Uh, definitely gotta do some stuff maybe over here as well. And oh my god, the line is long to get in our church. <laughs> awesome. Uh, also, I added uh, the bell up there, which is a beautiful spot. I guess that's why they're hanging around. <laughs> they're literally under the bell, which is so cool. Uh, I still need to do more terraforming uh, on this area here so it can look a little bit more filled up with life uh, and definitely weighs around. Uh, here I might just do uh, I might add a flower box right there, but everything is looking pretty awesome What do you think so far? We still got to beat it up make it a little more rustic uh, But you know what w with time we'll add uh, but I really want to get this episode out for you guys But you know what? Let's go inside. Let me show you what's happening in here. Let's go. So excuse me. Excuse me night uh, you guys, uh, oh, you know what? I need a bunch of clerics. If you want to be part of my cleric uh, community, let me know. We put a bunch, a bunch of the brewing stands. We got a ton of clerics here. But when we come on in, we got all the brewing stands in the back. We got to... Excuse me, I'm trying to do a video. Um, so we have a, brew, a bunch of brewing stands in the back. We got one lectern here in the front. I gotta put a book in there very, very soon. Uh, then we got these cool little seats, little pews. Uh, I went ahead and I uh, I went with a, a different color. So we went with some oak slabs with the spruce trap door and it looks so good. Up here on the top, look at those cool little hanging lights. I tried to come up with something a little different. So I started messing with it. Uh, and I think it's centered pretty good compared to how the roof is. Uh, so it's really, really good. It's kind of centered more to this door right here it's kind of centered to that but it's still it, it feels right uh and then we have these open doors in the front in here we got spots hey you guys are a little bit too close there clerics you look turned away uh, so we have these little spots right here that uh they can go ahead uh and sleep then another little sleeping area right here we're missing one clear i don't know where he's at uh and it's looking really awesome uh we brought some of the end rods here which are these lantern types just to change it up a bit and this looks so cool we got some sea pickles there for candles some bookshelves and i think it looks awesome what do you guys think of this interior is that cool uh as far as up here we have little ways up oh hey how you doing there's where you're at i think you need to get home your, your home is downstairs go Go, 
Bye. Bye. Uh, <laughs> and we have a little bit of storage over here and just a little bit of randomness here. I don't have anything up top here, but uh, whatever. I wouldn't really need anything. Can we do parkour, though? Can we do parkour? No, we can't. But it's fine. But up here is pretty similar. It's the same thing, actually. Uh, but it's looking so awesome. Ow. It's looking so awesome. What do you guys think of our church? Oh, man. So excited. So, so super excited. But let me know what you want to see next. We got space for a bunch more things. I want to get rid of that thing. Put a, another little nice gazebo. We still need a library. We'll still need to... Uh, I want to do like a little alchemy uh, spot maybe for a little wizard, for the town wizard. Uh, we got a bunch of other stuff that are coming up. We still need to incorporate a bunch more builds for the workstation. So that's coming up too. But I'm out. I'm out of here for now. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. I love this church. It's so different from any other church we did. And you know what? I'm, I'm having a great time. And you know what? Rip our boy Sanic. I think we're going to have to do some kind of a, a, of a, a I don't know, a, a memorial uh, now that we have the church up. Uh, and maybe even a little statue for our Sanic boy. Rest in peace, my friend. <laughs> but I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Catch you on the very next episode. Bye.